Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and by that intro you can see that today is the day that we finish up one of the biggest parts of the Ram makeover that I've been waiting on. If you've been following the channel in any capacity, you've seen that I picked up a 2015 Ram. It's an express model, chrome kind of all over it, very basic looking truck. To recap what we've done so far, we have plastic up the wheels black, we have did the calipers in red, we have did the emblems, completely replaced them with black, black door handle covers, black mirror covers, bed cover, we have did VIP Moto's tail lights, and we did an LED third brake light. We've got two things left, two. That is replacing these bad boys and replacing these bad boys. Those bad boys have been in, these bad boys I don't know when they're going to get here. They keep sending me updates through UPS saying that it's delayed, 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 delayed. And it's been like two weeks. So I don't know when the fog lights are going to get here. I was trying to wait on the fog lights before I put in the headlights. I don't know when they're going to get here. So I want my headlights in. So that's what we're going to do today. Let me grab some tools. And let's get started. So guys, the headlights we are going to be using are the Spider Auto with DRLs, projector beams, halogen headlights. However, we're going to be upgrading to LEDs as soon as those get here. First off, what we got to do is remove the grill. I would show you how to do that, but I just did in the last video. It is, I think, six clips on the radiator cover, four 10 millimeter bolts. And then you pull there, 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 and there, and that pops right off. But it'd be easier for you just to watch the last video very in depth. So let's go ahead, pop this grill out. All right, guys, we've got the grill off. Now for the headlight removal, you have 10 millimeter here. You have a 10 millimeter here. And on the inside of the footwell, you have this little cover, has this little tab. We have to pop this tab off, reach back in here, and there is a little slide tab you have to pop up and that releases the back of the headlight. So you just have to pop that one tab off, fold this thing back, reach back in here, and it is that tab right there. So guys, this is the back of the factory headlight. You have that one plug, but you are gonna have to unscrew this cap and take out your high beam bulb because it does come with a low beam, but you do have to use your high beam. So let me get that swapped out and everything else is pretty much plug and play after this. All right, guys, at this point, it's pretty much just plug and play again. The only thing you will need to do is remove your parts, park light bulb. You will have a small harness for that. Just make sure when you plug it in that the black is on the left and you'll hear a click. And then you'll screw it back in, just like if you was replacing a factory bulb. So once you have the headlight back in, you'll need to reach back through the fender well again, grab a hold of that white plastic tab that we popped up. Now that those are in, let me go test the functions. Perfect, perfect. There we go, headlight number one is in. So guys, here is a little bit of a comparison on the looks. This is the factory chrome halogen, and this is the VIP Motos, but made by Spider projector LEDs. LED DRLs, halogen high beam, halogen low beam, and a projector. And then you have your regular turn signals as well. Look incredible. So guys, I'm not going to bore you with watching me take out the other one. But as soon as I get it out and get it replaced, I'll show you what the truck looks like with both of them in it. We'll get the grill put back on and then check it out completely done. All right, guys. So got the other side installed and I can't be happier with the way these look. Now, I don't know about the light output. The light output may be terrible since we're using a halogen bulb and a projector headlight. It may be way worse than stock. Um, the sun will be going down in like two hours. I will do a follow-up video with how they drive and what kind of light output they have at night 
and compare that to stock. I do have the LED upgrade coming for all of the bulbs, fog lights, high beams, and low beams. Those should be getting here. Let me show you what this looks like. I, I can't be happier with the way this truck's turning out. This is with the park lights on. There was no extra wiring for the DRLs. Uh, you do have the double bar turn signals. Uh, like I said, the projector beam, low beam, and the typical halogen high beam. But let me back up here and just give you another look at it. I cannot be happier with the looks. Like I said, the out, light output may be terrible, but bag on if they don't look really, really good. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. This wasn't like really a how to install these videos. I was just kind of taking you along for the ride on this one. There's a million videos on how to change out your headlights on the Ram. These are completely plug and play. The only thing you have to do is take your high beam bulb out of your old headlights. Everything else is literally a direct plug and play except for when you pop out the, uh, you have to pop out your turn signal bulb and plug the new harness in, but still plug and play. So guys, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. We're on our way toward 3K. I hope to get there by the end of June. So help me out, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video.